Uh, well, this is a combine that's typically used for harvest, uh, either corn, soybean, or rice in the state. Uh, really, nothing special about this particular combine other than the piece of equipment that's attached to the back of it here. So this is an integrated Harrington seed destructor that's attached to the combine. Uh, the weed seed that's in the chaff uh, goes through the Harrington seed destructor. It pulverizes uh, that material, spreads it back on the field. I was never really a big fan of the tow behind Harrington seed destructor. I didn't think it would be practical uh, here in the U.S. But uh, what came along following that was the integrated Harrington seed destructor that we see on the combine here. And, the integrated Harrington Seed Destructor, we had a prototype of that that we brought over from Australia in 2016 and we tested that on 12 different uh, weeds that's common throughout Arkansas and on 11 of those 12, we had 99% kill or higher. Uh, common cocoa burr, uh, we had 97% uh, kill. So I'm exi excited now that we've moved beyond the prototype. Uh, we now have one on the combine and we're looking forward to getting this out into some fields here on the station as well as into uh, some fields, uh, some grower fields and beginning to look at the utility of this uh, to try to minimize weed seed going back into the soil seed bank. And we have pigweed or palmer amaranth populations in our state that are resistant to four different modes of action, especially in northeast Arkansas. And so we're looking for that next thing uh, that's not chemical, a, a new cultural practice that can reduce wheat seed going back into the seed bank, reduce the numbers that we have to deal with in cropping seasons. The idea behind uh, the equipment is that those seed will or the majority of them anyway, will go into the mill, be destroyed, and that's less that we have to deal with uh, the subsequent year or cropping season. And we're gonna bring down that soil seed bank, have low numbers that we're fighting. We're hoping to uh, be able to maintain high levels of uh, herbicide efficacy when used in conjunction with the tools that we have in place today. It's not a standalone system, but it's a tool that we can integrate into our current systems that's going to be able to sustain the utility of the herbicides that we have out there today. In incorporating this type of system with a cover crop, uh, with herbicides that, that are currently available that, that do still have activity on pigweed will help us move towards that zero tolerance we're, that we're preaching with Palmer Amaranth uh, throughout the state.